Jesus. Love you, Jesus loves you. Merry Christmas. Uh, <laughs> um, hope you're having a, a Merry Christmas. And it should be Christmas every day. Um, so, reconciliation. God was reconciling the world in Jesus. And we've received the ministry of reconciliation. So, um, why did Jesus come? Like, God, God took on flesh. God became human. God became human. The God-man, Jesus Christ. And why? Why? First of all, to pay for our sin. First of all, he died in our place so we don't have to go to hell to pay for our sin so we could have his righteousness when we give our life to Jesus. So he died to pay for our sin. He came to pay for our sin. Um, and he also came to reconcile us to himself. He also came to reconcile us to himself. He said when he is lifted up, he'll draw all men to himself. So he was lifted up on the cross so people could see how much he loves us, how bad sin is, you know, righteousness, justice, wrath, love. <laughs> so he was lifted up on the cross. And then after that, you know, he died. He rose from the dead three days later. Ascended up into heaven. He's at the right hand of God. He is God. He's also on the center throne. <laughs> Jesus is... Jesus is the Trinity. <laughs> He's Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It's His Holy Spirit. He is the Father. Anyways, when Jesus is lifted up, like right now I'm lifting Jesus up. So, like that's what it's all about. So, like... You search through ac academics, you search through academics, you, th you search through mathematics, philosophy, science, uh, you search through social media, you search through relationships. The only thing that matters is Jesus. So, like, people matter, but you don't know how to do that without Jesus. Like, you don't know how to have wisdom. You don't know how to have love. You don't know how to, like... The world is supposed to revolve around Jesus. So, like, once you get right with Jesus, you can get right with other people. You can get right with everything else. So, so Jesus came to pay for our sin, but he also came to reconcile us to himself. So, like... We need to be reconciled. Like the Apostle Paul said, please, like, Jesus came to reconcile us to himself. Be reconciled to God. Be reconciled to Jesus. I was just reading it, I think, 2 Corinthians 6, maybe. 2 Corinthians 5 or 6. Uh, we've received the ministry of reconciliation we've received the ministry of reconciliation. Be, so first of all, we need to be reconciled to God. We need to be reconciled to God. And then we need to spread like Jesus loves you. You're going to hell. <laughs> You're a sinner. You got to repent and turn away from all your sin and believe in Jesus. Repentance and faith. There's, there's a repentance and a faith that isn't a saving faith. So you can like have a f believe in Jesus. So you have to have true saving, true saving repentance, true saving faith. God has to do it. So you have to pray for it and you have to do it. So you have to seek after it with all your heart until you find it. And you'll find it if you seek with all your heart and you'll know when you found it. Like when you finally meet God through the Holy Spirit, you'll know it. So, so that's basically what I'm doing right now. Like we ha everybody everywhere has received the ministry of reconciliation. So 
I'm trying to, like, I wish everyone watching this would be reconciled to God. And that's the, that's one of the reasons Jesus came. <coughs> Jesus came to reconcile us to himself. So anyways, like we're, bo we're born, we're born enemies of God. We're, we're conceived, we're born as enemies of God. So Jesus was conceived and born by the Holy Spirit. Uh, Jesus was born so that we wouldn't be enemies anymore. So he paid for our sin, but he also has to, to deliver us from our sin. So he has to like, Jesus died 2000 years ago. He paid for my sin, but I'm living in sin. Like I'm living in sin. So like I need him to save me today. You know, 2023, I need to be delivered from my sin and I need to be reconciled to God. Like I need to stop running my own life. I need to stop trying to be righteous. Like I need to give my life to Jesus. So he comes to live in my heart, his Holy Spirit live in my heart, connected to my spirit forever. Then I'm going to live a holy life, a loving life, truth filled life. And it's about that. I'm going to live a holy life and a righteous life. Yes. But I'm also reconciled to God. Like I know the God of the universe who made me. He made you. He wants to know you. He loves you. He died for you. He paid for your sin 2000 years ago and he can change you today. He can like get rid of your sin. So you're walk a holy life. Uh, and you're walking with God. Like, you know, God, like how many people can say like, I know God and not be a liar. Like a lot of people, how many people can say they know God? So, and not be a liar. Like I know Jesus who is the only God. So like it anyways. So, uh, so be reconciled to God. Stop running your own life. Give your life to Jesus. It's amazing. It's the best thing ever. So Jesus, it, it's Christmas time in the city and in the country. It's Christmas time and uh, Jesus was conceived or born. I don't even know, but we celebrate. I celebrate it for Christmas and he was born to pay for our sin and he was born to reconcile us to himself. So he paid for all sin, but you have to return to him, like return to your creator like stop running your life, give it to, give it back to God and live for Jesus. Like it might be scary, but it's amazing. So you might, you might not know exactly how to do it. That's why you got to trust God. Like, I don't know how to live for Jesus. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like you just, you got to trust God. You got to start reading the new Testament, praying, talking to Christians. Like, you either, you either feed the spirit or the flesh, you either feed the Holy Spirit or you feed the flesh. So, uh, whether you're saved or not, you either feed the Holy Spirit or you feed the flesh. So anyways, so be reconciled to God this Christmas and, uh, let's start out, you know, uh, anyways. So yeah, uh, be reconciled to God. Jesus is the only God. Uh, I don't know how exactly it all works, but Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are all in Jesus. Like if you get Jesus, if you really get Jesus and like you know him, he knows you, you'll have his Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit comes to live in your heart, connected to your spirit. And Jesus, 
the Bible says Jesus is the Father. Like, if you've seen the Father, you see, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And then in Isaiah, it says uh, he's the everlasting Father. So, like, Jesus is the Alpha, the Omega. Jesus is Jehovah. Jesus is Yahweh. Like, Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. Jesus is the God of the New Testament. 66 books, King James Version. Love you, Jesus loves you. Uh, ha be reconciled to God. God loves you. Jesus is God. Jesus loves you. Jesus is love. God is love. Jesus is love. So he has wrath that's waiting for us. Like we're about to drop into the lake of fire forever. So we need to repent and get give our life to Jesus like really believe in Jesus and give our life to Jesus. If your life looks the same, you're not saved. So be reconciled to Jesus. He loves you. He died for you. He'll help you. So, yeah. <coughs> Have a Merry Christmas. Uh, love you. Jesus loves you. Jesus.